This sketch will connect a Bluetooth device with an LCD display and the display will display the same, the LCD display will display the same as the serial monitor. Initially I had a problem, uh, the LCD display would always display like a cursor, a flashing cursor, and I didn't want that, whereas the serial monitor worked fine. So what worked was uh, in this if statement right here, I trap for only the printable characters, uh, a hex space to a hex tilde, um, and all the control characters and all that other stuff I don't test for. And so that would include a carriage return. Uh, initially, I tried doing um, a slash n or a hex 0a, and nothing really worked very well. Um, I was uh, uh, using code that I downloaded from uh, the web, and initially you had to enter a capital L as a line, end of line, and I didn't want that. So this works very cleanly. The second part that made this work really well was if I went up here to Serial Monitor and I tried to type something, it would just blank out. And so what I found worked was down here it had no line ending. So you have to change that to carriage return and then go back up here and now you type hello world and it comes up and then it also comes up on the display here and it comes up as a string received hello world. So that solved the COM5 USB connection perfectly. Now I do have a Bluetooth device here that I want to plug in. So I'll reset this, turn that off. And I use a uh, hyper terminal uh, Windows program down, down here to communicate with the Bluetooth. So if I plug in the Bluetooth, like that, you now see the Bluetooth is ready to receive data. You click on this, it says connect, disconnected, it's trying to connect. It says connected, the Bluetooth is now connected. And in order to echo the data to the screen so I can see what I'm typing, I go to settings, ASCII setup, echo type characters locally. And then I type, hello world, and you can see string received, hello world, and then on the LCD display it also says hello world, and it does not include a cursor, a flashing cursor, or corrupted characters. That was the best solution I could find. Um, I hope this helps everyone. Um, I'll include the code, and at least that'll get you up and running. Thanks.